money. It's like the sun we walk under. It can kill or cure. Vandergelder is never tired of saying that most people in the world are fools. And in a way, he's right, isn't he? Himself, Irene, Cornelius, myself. Yes, we're all fools, and we're all in danger of destroying the world with our folly. But the surest way to keep us out of harm is to give us the four or five human pleasures that are our right in the world. And that takes a little money. <laughs> now, the difference between a little money and no money at all is enormous <laughs> and can shatter the world. And the difference between a little money and an enormous amount of money is very slight. And that can shatter the world too. It's all in how you use it. As my late husband, Ephraim Levi, once said, money, you should pardon the expression, is like manure. It's not worth a thing unless it's spread around. <laughs> Encouraging young things to grow. Anyhow, that's the opinion of the second Mrs. Vandergelder, which reminds me, Ephraim, I'm ready for that sign. Mr. Vandergelder! Well, don't just stand there. That goes upstairs. Oh, well, Horace, as I was saying, I found you the ideal wife. Dolly Gallagher, I don't want you to find me no ideal wives. If I want an ideal wife, I'll find one of my own. And I found her. And it's you. Damn it. Why, Horace? Oh, I know. I've been a fool about Mrs. Malloy and that other woman. But, Dolly, forgive me and marry me. Horace, stop right there. What do you mean? Well, you know as well as I do that you're the first citizen of Yonkers. Naturally, you'd expect your wife to be a somebody. Now, I ask you, am I a somebody? You are. Wonderful woman. Oh, you're partial. No, Horace, it won't be enough for you to load your wife with money and jewels, to insist that she be a benefactress to half the town. Oh, by the way, it's bad business letting Cornelius open a store right across the street from you. Better take him back, let him be a partner. Partner? Yeah, then Barnaby can have Cornelius' old job. Now, see here, Dolly. Sure, that way we'll all be together and we can dance at God's wedding. That does it. You've gone too far, Dolly. I'll dance at no weddings. Besides, I don't know how, and it would take me weeks, months, years to learn. <laughs> all right, I'll dance. Horace, I never thought I'd hear you say a thing like that. Mr. Vandergelder! <laughs> that front room, you idiot! Well, go on, what are you waiting for? Horace Vandergelder, what is going on up there? Oh, nothing. I just thought I'd have that front room done over in blue wallpaper. <laughs> Why, Horace? Oh, I know, the old paper ain't worn out yet. But that fella just set up in business, and he needs a good start. You see, Dolly, I've always felt that money You'll pardon the expression, is like manure. It's not worth a thing unless... Thank you, Ephraim. <laughs> hello, Dobby. Well, hello, Dobby. It's so nice to have you here where you belong. I never knew, Dolly, 
without you. Darling, life was awfully flat, and more than that was awfully wrong. I'm staying where I'm at, Horace, darling, I'll never 